Hi, my name is Av Rios and I'm a paramedic with Lansing Mercy Ambulance on behalf of Expert Village. In this clip, we're going to use the different steps and techniques that we've gone over previously and put them together to use one possible scenario that you might run across in real life. Sir, sir, can you hear me? Sir, can you hear me? No response. Call 911. I'm going to open the airway. Look, listen, and feel for 10 seconds. I don't see or feel any breathing. I'm going to go ahead and give a ventilation now. And I have adequate chest rise. I'll give a second ventilation. Again, adequate chest rise. I'm going to go ahead and assess for a carotid pulse for 5 to 10 seconds. No pulse. I'm going to now begin CPR. I want to make sure that I move my patient to a hard surface. Still maintaining my airway. Find my one third. I just completed two cycles of my ratio of 30 to 2 compressions. You want to do approximately four of those, which will take about two minutes. At the end of that, I now want to reassess my patient. I don't need to check for responsiveness because I can tell my patient has no change in it. I do, though, want to look, listen, and feel. Still no response. Didn't get my first ventilation in. I want to make sure I reposition the head. Two adequate ventilations. Assess for a pulse. If still no pulse, I would continue CPR and wait for EMS to arrive. If there was a pulse, it's safe to say that you should give another round of CPR for at least two more minutes just to kind of help the heart. It's just been restarted and it could use your help kind of assisting it while pumping. If the patient does at any point wake up though, it's safe to say that you can stop your CPR.